Hey there, it's Blair here at Time Trades. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial on using GAN fans to square your chart. We're looking at SPX and Time Trades here, and what we're going to do is first turn on the GAN fans feature under the main menu. And you'll see a lot of lines appear on your chart. Uh, don't worry about this. This is uh, actually uh, a benefit because it makes it easy and fast to square your chart once you know how to use all these lines. Now, one thing you'll notice down here in the bottom right is uh, it has the aspect ratio of the chart. That number 3.2694 is the ratio between the number of SPX points on the price axis to the number of uh, daily bars that we see, okay? So um, you'll notice that because it's auto, as we scroll through the price, the um, bar range changes uh, because the high price uh, is different, the low price is different. So time trades will automatically scale the chart to fit all the price, uh, all the price action in the screen. Now, that is not what we want when we're, we are squaring a chart. When we are squaring a chart, we want to find the optimal aspect ratio between price on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. And we determine the optimal aspect ratio by looking at these GANFAN lines that are drawn from pivot highs and pivot lows and also up from zero, because this is another technique that GAN used is to uh, draw his GAN fans up from uh, zero below major pivots as well. So the way we adjust the aspect ratio of the chart is we put the mouse over top of the price axis and drag it up and down so that the aspect ratio changes. And you can see down here in the bottom right that it switched from auto to manual because we're manually adjusting the aspect ratio. And um, as we move the uh, price axis up and down, the aspect ratio changes. So what we can do is just sort of visually um, through trial and error, find the right aspect ratio that results in some very good hits between these uh, trend lines, these GAN fans and price. So if we scroll back in time, we can see some areas. I wanna make sure that we also capture areas in uh, history uh, in when the SPX was trending up as well to make sure that these uh, price ratios um, are also including uh, the, the uptrend and the downtrend. So we can um, take a look at this time period back in uh, 2021 and we can use that as a, a time period to uh, optimize the GAN fan. So let's just scroll this up and down and see if we can find a good, good spot here. So um, I kind of like this, uh, this uh, setup here because we've got the one by one line touching uh, this pivot high here and we've got the, um, this lower line, which is the uh, two by one up, uh, it is getting some nice touches here and here and here. Um, and then a break of this lower two by one uh, indicates lower down here. And then we can see in the in starting uh, at this low on October 5th, we can see how the two by one uh, acts as support over here on December 20th and, and December 2nd. So if we want, we can tweak that so that that support level is a little bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like the point here isn't perfection. The point here is to um, get something that visually uh, uh, results in the, the most hits between the trend lines and price. Okay, uh, and again, it's what I find really interesting here is how we can set um, or square the chart based on this time period in October and November and December, 2021. And then that results in really good hits over here in March, 2022. So um, the observation here is that these ratios or, the, or this, this set of angles repeats if we uh, establish this set of angles 
um, based on one period in the past, we should get good hits in the future. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. So uh, we can scroll forward and just double check that we're getting the right set of hits here. And you know we've got some good, good support here, July, uh, July 26. Um, and uh, we can also see that this high, the August 16th high in 2022 um, is really close to this uh, two, by, two by one up from zero on uh in, in, that started in 2019 so that's super interesting um so that's good confirmation that we have uh, a good um aspect ratio so i'm just going to tweak this a little bit so that that's a better hit there there we go and now we've got a good a good touch here we've got a good touch here uh the aspect ratio is 10.7 okay so what um We've got we've got a good aspect ratio, uh, ten point seven. What can we do with this? Well, um, this number is actually uh, the exact same number that's used in Trading View. So if we switch over to Trading View, we can come over here and uh, we can go to Settings by right clicking on the chart, and we can put in ten point seven that we obtained from optimizing in Time Trades. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be like to the fourth decimal point, 10.7 is good enough. Uh, and now we've squared our SPX chart in trading view to the same value that we obtained in time trades. And um, we got to this point in just a matter of a few minutes. We didn't have to go and draw manually a bunch of trend lines on a chart because time trades did that for you automatically. So that's a huge time saver right there. So now we can use the GANFAN feature in, in trading view and uh, we can go and add some GANFANs here in trading view that um, align with the uh, automatic GAN fans that are drawn in time trades. So let's go to time trades and Take a look here. We've got um, a GAN fan that starts on August 16th and it roughly touches the high on September 12th. So let's do that. We can start on uh, August 16th at the high and have that come down to touch where September 12th. Here it is. There we go. So now we've replicated in trading view the GAN fan setup that we established in time trades. So the advantage now is that we can go down to a lower time frame in trading view, maybe a 30 minute or a five minute if you trade on that level, and we can still see those GAN fans because that's something that time trades cannot do. Time trades is daily data only. Um, now, now that we've got this established, what we want to do here is we want to measure this angle. Okay, so uh, we are going to uh, find our angle measurement tool. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. Trend angle. Okay, so uh, we've got this squared and we're going to anchor the angle measurement tool to the top and we're going to align it right to there. And that is 47 degrees. Now, what I'd like to do next is make a note of this, okay? Um, so we're going to add a note here, uh, squared uh, to 47 degrees, one by one angle with 10.7 uh, price per bar, all right? Because uh, I make a note of this because uh, TradingView will lose that 10.7 that number when you switch off uh, fixed price, uh, lock price to bar. So if I turn that off, then that, this number will, will lose that number. So um, I want to just save it in the notes for the stock so that when I want to turn that back on again, I don't have to go back to time trades and resquare the chart. Okay, so this is squared to 47 degrees, 1.1 angle using a 10.7 price per bar ratio. Okay, so we're going to add that note and we can get rid of that. And now what we can do is uh, 47 degrees is our key um, degree for the one by one angle. So we can um, uh, 
create new GAN fans com coming off of whatever pivot we want here using 47 degrees. So now we're going to create a new GAN fan. We've, we've anchored that to 47 degrees here, and we can come up here. Um, and now look at that hit. Like, this is just incredible, right? We can see here how um, price respected this coming up and then it gapped down lower, right? And now price is respecting the two by one coming up from this low here. Like, this is what I love about this stuff is that, you know, when you square the chart right, you get some incredible relationships. And this is why I prefer to use GAN fans over just arbitrary trend lines is that the GAN fans are aligned to the, um, basically the rate of vibration of the stock. So uh, price is moving up at this rate of vibration, moving down at this rate of vibration. And the one by one angle, the two by one angle, three by one, these are all different harmonics of that rate of vibration. And it, it respects that uh, going forward. And we can see here how it's, it bounced off the two by one. Um, and that's uh, really positive going forward. So you can go ahead and then add these 47 degree angles and additional GAN fans to whatever point you want uh, in your trading view chart. And you can know that this ties back to the overall rate of vibration in the stock. Um, and uh, I think that will provide some nice support resistance levels in your trading. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave some comments in the uh, uh, YouTube comment section below. And thanks again for using time trades. Bye now.